Good morning. Hey, good afternoon, good evening, family. Let's see how we do this. Anyway, let me uh, go on. Uh, how many of y'all are aware of um, the situation that happened where the journalist was killed in Florida? Every, I mean, Florida, I swear. Anyway, and the, the, the journalist was deleted while reporting on a double murder of a woman and child after the gunman returned to the dang on scene. Now, anybody with any that has seen him, Dylan Lyons, was gunned down along with another colleague while broadcasting about a local killing that had occurred at the scene five hours earlier. Lyons was tragically deleted, and the unnamed Spectrum News 13 photographer was injured and rushed to the hospital. Five hours earlier, a nine-year-old girl and her mother were deleted by the same suspect. His name is Keith Melvin Moses, a career criminal with a lengthy rap sheet. He sneered and smiled as he was handcuffed on Wednesday in connection with three shootings, which police believe are all linked. Uh, Lyons' is heartbroken fiance, Casey Lynn, wrote, The love of my life was murdered, and I'll never be the same again. No, oh, you got that right. But let me say this. Anybody that sees this person before this particular incident should have known he should have been locked up. You ever see crazy just jump out a picture at you? Just jump out that I'm not wrapped too tight. You know, you look at the person's eyes. They're a window to your soul. And his soul is so corrupt and so empty that he should have been locked up and medicated severely. And if he got a lengthy record, I would want to know why this wasn't the case. See, because... They like to paint the face of crime as young black males. And in some cases, yes, young black men are behind the eight ball. But as a society, we're sick and we're toxic. And that goes beyond color. It goes beyond color. When the police come out and they have to encounter madness, they only know one way to operate, and that's to kill you. Okay? There has to be. There has to be a balance because without it, again, we we can't survive. It seems like it's, it's, it's almost that we don't appreciate that the uh, universe has order and balance, you know, and it is none of that going on on this planet. And whenever you can look at a person and see just how crazy they are. And you wonder how they get to um, have the ability to commit crime after crime after crime. And continue to get out. It's mind boggling. Anyway, let me let me hear from y'all. What y'all think about this? Anyway, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share. And please... 
leave a comment. Please, I'm begging you to leave a comment. I appreciate it. Your comments are very valuable to me. I want to know what you're thinking. And I want to know how y'all feel about this damn nut. Do y'all feel, and I hate to say it just like that, that there's just a lot of mental illness going on? And that 22, uh, 2022 unleashed the madness? Or was it 2020 just unleashed a rash of madness whenever Corona hit? That was the first and then it just ushered, it just kept coming. It didn't stop. And it won't stop until this thing, um, hmm. well, y'all know what happened to all the other great empires, so I don't even need to go there. I'll see you in the next video.